Hey, my name is Sandra Vivas. My name is Nugent E. Smith. I'm originally from Venezuela and I'm living now in Dominica. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, born in Jersey City, New Jersey. I'm uh, Trinidad and Haitian descent. Uh, spent some years growing up in Trinidad and uh, my younger years. I would define performance art as a, uh, as a series of actions that are uh, combined to express a particular idea. Um, it's not necessarily theater, it's not necessarily acting, um, but I think that for me, performance art definitely does incorporate some of the principles um, of theater, of acting, um, but it's, it's more of an ab abstraction um, in my view, of, um, of exhibiting a particular idea. For me, performance art, it's a ritual. And it's um, almost, I, I see this almost shamanistic action that I must do to solve a, a conflict. Um, I also look at it as a visual art. Um, it's really important to me when I'm creating performances uh, thinking about composition in the space that I'm working in, thinking about the, 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 the forms, also thinking about the, the way that, that color and movement all kind of uh, come together in order to create a visually um, pleasing experience as well. I try to include things from daily life and for me it's, uh, it's something that is it's real. For me that's one of the most important parts. So it's not a theater thing, it's not a stage thing. But I might do the same performance again, as you would perform another ritual again, you know, whatever other ritual, religious or, or not religious. Most of my work, it's, it's about me. It's very self-centered. But I think a lot of people connect to it. It's about being a woman in a macho place most of the time, but about other political issues um, and about our, as a woman, about my own engagement in the victimization, you know? So it's not, um, it's not kind of pointing fingers at people, you know, it's just basically questioning my role in that, you know, in that game, in that play that it's where I end up being a victim. I'm also part of the game. I'm also playing that part. It's not just happening to me. Sometimes, some of my friends do understand the concepts of performance art, but I think that the majority of them don't. Yes. In my life, yes. Now, in Dominica, I cannot say the same. I think that the majority of my friends and family, when they see uh, performance art, whether it's my performance art or whether it's somebody else's, they, they're not sure what to think. I think many of them are, when they see a person in this mode where they are um, uh, making actions, they automatically go into watching theater mode and expect some sort of storyline or expect some sort of uh, um, culmination, final ending. Um, so when, when the performances go a different way, slightly different way than they're expected, that, they, that they're used to, um, they are left a little bit perplexed as to whether or not they, they enjoyed it or whether or not they, they got something out of it. Um, so yeah, many of them are just a little confused as to, to what performance art is. Um, frankly, some of them really enjoyed the, 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 the kind of spontaneity that comes with performance art, some of them uh, enjoy the, the, uh, the perhaps like the grotesque when some when they are actually viewing some of those kind of performances. Um, some of them really enjoy the experiences of 
of uh, the interaction because sometimes performance artists kind of draw the audience in. They enjoy that that aspect of it as well. Um, but I don't know if they necessarily thoroughly understand it. And maybe sometimes not understanding it um, helps them to really uh, thoroughly experience it. Although I've been living here for a while, I live in the northern part of the island and it's only to about 3,000 people living in, in here and um, and I, I would say half of them are studying medicine, the other half and they're full-time students and or spouses of, and the other half is basically like farmers, you know, people who have very simple um, lives and so it's a uh, um, I feel very often isolated and, you know, without the possibility of doing performance art here, you know, which I haven't, actually. What inspired me to use performance in my work? I think the need For another another medium to express particular ideas that I'm trying to convey through my work, I use video, I use um, you know, painting, drawing, sculpture. But sometimes there is just that other thing that that I'm trying to say. Well, I could ask what and who, uh, because there were other there are many artists that I have been inspired by, but. Basically, it was the lack of, of, um, of feeling that I could communicate what I needed to communicate through conventional media. So there's something that I needed to communicate that was, you know, painting was not enough, video was not it. So I, I, it had to be a real action in real time. And there, there's, there's no real way for me to really thoroughly explain it or articulate it using any of those other mediums that I mentioned. So I found that <clears throat> once I started to see some performance art, I said to myself, this is something that I think that I can really use in, in the work. Um, I started experimenting um, actually with, with video um, before I went into performance. And the video was in a sense a, a type of performance in front of the camera. And it was also um, kind of planned out, but also there was room for um, some interpretation and, and, and play as I did the recording. So when I started to do the performance pieces, I realized that um, it had impact. Um, it, it had power and it, it made an impact on the viewers. And also how myself, how I personally transformed and became the work when I started to do performance. So it was one of those things where once I discovered it and started to experiment with it, I realized how important it was to um, my work in the, in the articulation of some of the ideas that I have in my mind. And, uh, and also observing the work of other artists, in whether it was in person or um, through books, I, I was very, very inspired by artists like Marina Abramovic, which I'm sure you know, and um, other local artists like Antonieta Sosa, Alfred Vene Mozart, and, um, who else? There are many I cannot think of right now, but, ah, and a dancer, because I also come from a background from dance, and uh, there was this dance theater choreographer and um, her name is Ercilia Lopez, and she will do actions in which she was, for example, in a bathtub, you know, inside the stage, there was a bathtub with real water, and she would perform uh, like a beautiful dance, you know, that, you know, it was not your conventional kind of dance. <laughs> yeah, and she inspired me a lot. And Julie Barnsley, too, I have to say, another Venezuelan um, dancer. <laughs> Bye.